G'day guys, uh, in this video I'm going to take you through very briefly some of the uh, important important aspects of Collins Zizzard, the Collins Zizzavar app, which is a really useful tool for uh, getting better at Scrabble and, getting, and learning your words. It's one of the uh, more popular online tools you can use. It's available online for free. Um, it's got a lot of options and it can be a little overwhelming so um, I'm just going to take you through a few of the a few of the basic ones and then in a future video I'll hopefully go into the more complex uh, options specifically card boxing and how you can uh, how you can use card boxing effectively how to set it up because uh, if you're like me um, it yeah, um, it it was a bit it was a bit uh, scary, a bit uh, I want to say scary. <laughs> it's a program. Um, it, it was a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot to uh, do at once, and you if you don't really know uh, if you don't really know how to set your card box up properly or how much time that you're going to have available, then um, uh, you can sort of you sort of half do it and then you come back and go oh what was that thing that I did and it's 10 you know it's six months later um, so uh, this is the screen that you'd get from just opening up Zizivar in your browser sorry not in your browser just just out of your uh, start menu um, and uh, well the easiest way to go through is just hit the search button here uh, you've got the quiz button Ugh, I don't uh, the, the quiz buttons for another for another time so I'll go through how to uh, set up quizzes at a later stage for this one I'm just going to go through uh, how to search with Zizivar and uh, explain the different uh, op options available right so anagram match I did I did explain this in the other video but I'll go through it again anagram match will will produce uh, all available, all legal words for a given uh, rack of tiles. Um, so all you have to do, easily, easy, is just uh, in this text box here, um, just type in the rack that you've got. Um, say, say I uh, like I had one I had at the most recent tournament that I thought was okay, uh, but didn't I didn't get to play it. That's right. Uh, it was A D E R S. So I had I had a seven letter through the R. So this was this was my this was my rack, and you'll see uh, I'll usually refer to um, alpha grams like this in a rack, which just means that I've put the letters in order A D D E E R S. Some people like to talk in uh, vowel vowels first D D R S. Um, but you might see that when I play, I don't actually um, order them around. I just, you know, I, I don't put them in any order because for, for me, I don't really find it makes it any easier. Um, it's just a personal choice and some very top, very astute, good players, especially in Australia, they will order their rack uh, out of habit because that's how they find, that's how they've found words. They they link the alphagram, which is the A-D-D-E-R-S. They link that um, set to a, a valid anagram. So going back to actually doing the search, this was my rack. It has the word debtors. Now, uh, I think, I can't remember what the defaults for this are, but you can set the de the, the these defaults here now just an explanation of the numbers that you're seeing in the word uh, the left number is probability so it talks about probability zero and what that means is it's the probability of this word coming up it's it's like its popularity so one is better um, and 38,000 which is, uh, <laughs> which you'll see for some of the uh, eight letters and nine letter words 38,000 is bad it's individual for each word, uh, for each uh, length of words. So let's say, for example, I have add. So this is, um, you'll, you'll see that the probability here is 827, 
probability is 828 for this and that's because these are next to each other. Now you might notice that the playability is slightly different for this particular word. Um, and the, the what, what playability is, it's a little more complex than just probability and it's much more useful for the smaller words, especially fours and fives when you're when you want to know what's the best words that I want to learn. I will go through probability and playability and how to search that in a uh, in a more complex way later in, a, in another video because this is going to be a I just want to have a brief overview. Uh, so uh, what are we seeing? We're seeing probability, playability, the word and I've selected to have the hooks for the word so a hook is a letter on the front or the end of a word that you can just extend and these are very useful in uh, top level Scrabble. Uh, and then the definition if a definition exists. Now this definite this database of the definitions is completely uh, uh, created by the players so there will be some weird it'll, it'll be some weird mistakes in there uh, so you just have to forgive it if you've got a option. If you want to help and you, you know, you want to update your, you know, a word that's not in there, not in there properly, go ahead, please. Uh, contact, contact the, uh, the creators, the main, the, the curators and uh, see what you can do to help. Right. So, uh, going back to my, my anagram, uh, I think I was able to play through an R and there was the word dreaders and I didn't actually see that on, uh, on the day when I was playing it, but um, and, and that's how you can use anagram to uh, find words. Now you can do this for all your racks. If you if you're in a tournament or you're just playing online, uh, you now obviously you can use this to cheat, but you know it's it is the internet after all. But um, if you're a tournament player. Uh, you don't you and you well if you're a tournament player you know that uh, pressure's on once you're once you're on the board you can't look up words so looking them up before the the, the turn is over is counter it's counterproductive uh, you might learn some more words quicker and be able to play them but um, it's it's not going to help you in the long run so all I can say is that in my experience. Um, don't use Zizivar to cheat. It's obviously very easy to cheat with it, but um, you know, it's it's a personal choice. Um, so next uh, next option. So I've just shown you the basics of anagramming. Um, so for example, if I if I had W U C, ah, oh, uh, so uh, a wild card, which is. Um, just can be can be done by that or a question mark. So a full sub or a question mark. Um, oh, look, nothing. Now if I do another wild card, five letters, nothing, six letters. So W U C. Say because W C is a really horrible set of letters. What if I? What if I just stuck with them? What what words could I possibly make? What letters would would go well with them? Well, um, what uh, Zizavas now told me is that E is a very good letter to have if, I, if I'm going to have to keep WC on my rack and there's an E somewhere with an R to play through and I want to want to get rid of those letters somehow then that's a way. Uh, you can also use the anagrams to say oh well uh, I hate W and U what what two letter word what three letter words now I can tell you there's no two letter words right but uh, there's a three letter word uh, this in fact there's three and one of them's new so how I uh, was talking about earlier, this is new in CSW 15 uh, and there's no definitions as discussed, but um, I think, I think is, uh, uh, is this? no, uh, it's not one of those ones, yeah. So you, as you can see, I've put WU blank. So it's gone W D W S W U Z. Uh, now the thing to notice from this is they're all W used, but that's just a coincidence. So I can put it in any order, uh, UW dash UW, and it'll come up with the same. And that's because it's the anagram version. I will now move on to um, the other the other things. Now there's a lot of them. Uh, I'll go through the more commonly used, the more useful ones. So 
uh, pattern match. Let's say that uh, my opponent starts off with a common word of queen, right? Q-U-E-A-N. Now this, this one, if you're playing in tournaments, you would have seen. What if they play it, you know, uh, with a Q on the spot, you know, you know the, uh, the spot I'm talking about, uh, and they get like 44 points? You know there's, uh, there's an extension, a front extension, a prefix that you can do to queen, and uh, then you can get you can get a counteractive score. You know you can offset that, and that's cock queen. So what I've just used here is a star, is the asterisk, not an asterisk, as uh, one Scrabble player called it. Uh, but I loved those comics as a kid. Um, so the I, I've used the star, which means that I can. Uh, it gives me all words that end in queen. Q U E A N. To give you an idea, if I do star and bill, how many words do you think are going to come up? So what this would be, um, this would be all words in existence that are allowable in Scrabble that end in bill. So I can think of uh, f four, three. I can think of twi bill spelt two different ways. That's T W I B I L L. T W Y B I L L horn bill. I don't know. Is dollar bill allowed? Um, but let's just go ahead and you, you can you can guess how many words are end in bill. But uh, let's just go ahead and see how many there are. Oh. Thirty-five. So twi bill. What I mentioned before. Uh, looks like I made a spelling error in my head, and that's good to know. So, so twi bill can actually be spelled both ways. Let's just have a quick sneak peek. No, I guess got it completely wrong. So, um, this gives us everything that ends in a in a bill: sword bill, spoon bill. I think most of these you'll find are just bird types of birds, and it's it's quite interesting to go through these lists. Sickle bill. So you can see there's a um, there's a the similarity between them: razor bill, you know, sword bill, sheath bill, sickle bill. They're all kind of weapons. Stork's bill, crane's bill. Um, but okay, so what if I just wanted to look up um, the eight-letter words that end in bill? Well, uh, I use my wild card, but it's the ast the full stop this time or the question mark so I go one two three four bill so this is bearing in mind that this is pattern match pattern match right so um, it's come it's given me the 11 words that exist so if I wanted to learn some cool words that I might be able to play one day um, as you can see, some obviously weird weird words that come out that I wouldn't have um, I wouldn't have thought of. Play bill, I know. Shoe bill, wind bill. <laughs> That's a good one. So you have a windmill and a wind bill. It's a good way to remember it. Boat bill, blue bill, duck duck bill. We'd know, but um, oh, and it refers. This one t t tells us it refers to the platypus. So. Oh, and Hornbill has an awesome anagram, an awesome hook, Thornbill. I'll try and remember that. Um, yeah, so this way the, the pattern is very, um, uh, can be very useful in grouping different words. And if there was a word on the board that you thought, oh, could I have extended it somehow, either forward or backward? So, uh, for example, um, uh, what if I wanted to know all the five letter words that started with sub? There's 199. Great. Um, now I know. <laughs> but now learning them would be... Um, it, it would take it take a little while, but um, it's good to go through them, see the similarities, and uh, see whether I... See whether, how, how many you already know. Um, so, going on to the next uh, option, you've got a sub-anagram match. Sub anagram match is uh, good when you have a rack of letters that's hard, and you don't just don't know what to do with it. So I'm just going to have a quick. I'm just going to pick one at random from my uh, list. 
Uh, okay. Try and get something that's interesting as well. Yeah. Maybe we won't use that. Um, oh, yeah. I think I had... Yeah, okay. Let's let's use that one. I'm just... I wanted to get one that was... Uh, definitely didn't have a word, because... Um, Oh, a seven letter word. So this was this was the rack that I had. Now if I was going to put that into alphagram order uh, it would be D-I. You don't have to do this by the way. It works just the same. D-I-O-O-P uh, TV. So that would be the alphagram. Um, so what's the biggest word? What's the like longest word that you can see there? H have a think about it. <clears throat> I can think of uh, at least three five letter words uh, I can't really think of anything uh, bigger than that without a blank for example without something to play through so uh, and, and that's an important thing so if this was your first rack on the uh, of the game this is where this sub anagram gets useful is that you can work out what you're going to play um, for, for, for a first rack so in this case, uh, I can think of things like, how about uh, pivot? So P-I-V-O-T, divot, same deal. Uh, topoi is a um, odd, more odd one. So T-O-P-O-I, I think that's the plural of topos, T-O-P-O-S. Uh, uh, what about fours? I can see at least three fours, so void is one. Devo I know is an anagram of void. D-I-V-O. Uh, you've got the word poot. P-O-O-T. I think it means what you think it does. Um, I think topo by itself is okay. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and see what Zizivus tells us uh, we can play. Okay, there were, there were a bunch that I didn't think of. Um, so you can see pivot Divot and Topoi with ones that I mentioned, Ovoid, um, Utid, um, uh, Dipped, okay, Devo we mentioned, Topo, yep, so Topo, to Topoi, and here you can see Topos, good. Uh, glad I remembered those, so Arpood, I did remember that, that means, doesn't, doesn't mean what you think it does, uh, Russian unit away. So, uh, that would tell me what I can uh, play if uh, anything that I can play from my rack. That gives me every word. So there's 47 in total, and that goes from two to five. But that's because this particular rack isn't very friendly in terms of like bonuses. It's, it doesn't have any easy letters. It doesn't have an E. It doesn't have an S, and doesn't have an R, which are all very easy to make more words from. So let's say my opponent had already played a play or it was it was like halfway through the game and you had this rack what letters could you play through well to do to to work that out uh, under sub anagram when you've selected sub anagram you just put in the wild card there so um, uh, that's for one letter now don't put in the other wild card the star because that means it'll come up with all words ever in existence. That that will be 270,000 words on a sub-anagram. So take this as a warning. It, your, your computer will, it will have a spaz. So just put in the dot uh, and let's see if there's anywhere. So pivoted was a word. Bio dot. Yep. Dooty. D-H-O-O-T-I. Um, and you can see, oh, they, these are in alphabetical order. So there's there's no other things other than that there. You know, bio dot comes before duty. Uh, octopi, nice. Opioid, yep. Um, nothing there. I was pioted, didn't really know that. Um, pooted, there you go. To shoot at young patches, I don't know how, what, where does that word come from? Uh, Rupert, torpid. Might know that one. Tripod, of course. And Vidiot. That's an interesting one. So, if I had an eye... Ah, uh, that, that's, a, that's a fun word. Because uh, it's uh, a hook of idiot. So, if you see idiot and you forget to put the V on it, then maybe you're a idiot. 
Um, going on to the next things, length. Um, this particular um, one is actually used best in, in combination. But let's just say I want to know how many two-letter words exist. So I've put in two in the minimum, two in the maximum, 124. Oh, how many how many threes exist? Three, three. All right. How many uh, sevens and eights exist? You want to have a guess? It's above 10,000. So this is how many potential bonus words would you need to learn? Oh, it's taken a lot longer than I thought. So this is what your computer will do if you put in the asterisk into a uh, sub anagram search. So it's searching every single allowable word in existence between seven and eight. And it, there it is. Down here tells you the, uh, the words 76,054. So if you want to be number the number one player in Scrabble, yeah, you just have to learn these 76,050 words, 54 words. Oh, sorry. Uh, you have to learn the two between two and eight and sometimes nine. So the top players will know most of the nines, which I think is about 40,000. That's going to take forever as well. Uh, so the twos, there's there's 124, as we saw. Threes, there's like 1,300. And here we go. Nines, 42,000. Now you might think, wow, that's a lot of words. I'll never, I'll never do them. Most of the nines are combinations of sevens and eights. So aardvarks, it's just an eight with an S. Arsvogel, it's just an eight with an S. Ab abactinal. Okay, that one's that one's kind of its own little thing, but I can tell you that actinal is a word, so it's it's an extension. Ab ampere, ampere is a word. Abandoned, abandonee, abandon. So so far we haven't actually got to a word that's just a nine, um, and so this is where it looks daunting at first to to learn them, but later on later on you learn that there's a lot of similarities between these nines. Uh, another example. This comes from a seven ability extending to abilities. I wonder if there's a... I know there's this word. Okay, just going to quickly go to one word that's definitely... Um, oh, there's Sevap Sisi, this one. You'd know that this is a common word. And when I, when I mean common, I mean I can tell you what it is. <laughs> Not that I use it every day. Uh, there's also another... Here's a little... Here's one that's you'd be able to actually play someday if you knew it and you saw it and there was a spot. And it does come up. I've, I've at least had three chances to play this in my Scrabble career, so it, it, it's somewhat likely. Um, Neotania, it's a good one. So it's one of the more probable words and playable words. So it's a good word. It's one of the good good knowings to learn. Right, uh, we'll go on to the, uh, the in lexicon. Now, um, as I mentioned, if I wanted to know, so I've only got two lexicons loaded, right? So if I wanted to know what all the new CSW15 words were, um, I'm going to show you how to, in in this one, how to, uh, uh, if, if I just wanted that in its own little word list. So I can say something that's in CSW and in lexicon CSW12, this should give me about 260,000 words. Now if I say not, I hit search, uh, and then I'll wait. <laughs> there, all the new words, all new 6,500 words. Awesome, right? Um, so let's say I went. Well, I just want to study them. I don't want to do. I don't want to do it on. I don't want to study on the computer. I just want to print out a list. Easy. Right click. And you say save list and I suggest that you just put in the words you go you say one word per line and you say oh there's your CSW 15 as you can see I've done it before and in there oh that's all the words sorry uh, so CSW15, that were only sevens and eights that I that I pulled out. Yep. And there we go. And 
you'd be able to then just look at, you know, just look at the ones that uh, are new to CSW15. Um, so yeah, I could then say I'd call that CSW15 new words. Save. It saves it in a obscure spot. That's okay. You can just go back to save list. Go back to your uh, go back to your window. CSW fifteen new words. Do exactly what I did there. Open. It's it saves as a text file, and then you can just cut and paste this into a word document. Format it how you want. Make it easy for yourself. All right. So going on to the next uh, ones. Is there an in word list? Uh, this is a, this is more advanced. So. Uh, I'm not going to go through it. Um, belongs to group. Okay, this is also advanced. And to be effective, you need to combine it. And I'm not going to go into combining. Um, you can combine like search parameters here. And you can combine as many as you want. And it does become very useful. Uh, I'll go through some more complex searches when I talk about the quizzing because it's very useful there. Um, <sighs> belongs to group hook words there's heaps there's heaps um, you basically you don't even have to think oh what should I study you just go and look up some of these uh, number of vowels again um, it's probably advisable that you um, let's say 10 it's probably advisable that you um, uh, you need to do com combinations because otherwise you're going to get ridiculous numbers. Um, I'll, actually, I will go, I will go through just a very quick example, just seeing so that there's nothing that's got ten or more vowels. What I want, okay, here's here's a quick example: uh, five vowels or more. Let's say eight. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be a length word of seven or eight. So a bonus word. So I'm asking, what bonus words have a lot of vowels in them? There you go. 537. Uh, it's good to know most of these. I will say with 100% positivity, these will come up because you just you get flooded with vowels. You need to get rid of them. Great. Now what if I just wanted to do, say, six? Six vowels. There you go. So there's one seven-letter word, and that's E-U-O-U-A-E-S. I think it's actually pronounced evolve like the alternate spelling. There's aboido, aboito, oriole, apopoia. I should not be allowed to pronounce these things and eulogio because I mispronounce them. So there's a really good example of a number of vowels and how to use them. You can conversely you can ask uh, well a low number of vowels. And it will tell you, and there'll be a lot of whys. And here's a here's a little uh, trick. Does not have why. I think there's contains. Is there a contains in here? Yeah. Uh, this is how I do it. So let's let's do another one. And does not contain an s. So I said I wasn't going to uh, go through anything complex. Well, I lied. <laughs> um, so sevens and eights with one vowel. I probably didn't know thrush. So or thatched. Oh, that's a great little. So that's that's an awesome hook. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Uh, so let's see. I've just seen that word using Zizva. Thatch. I go thatch. I, and I thought that might be the case. Thatch, thatchy. How about thatch? Does it make anything? No. Okay. Thatchiest. Um, so what I've done there, I've, I've gone. Oh, how how? What other words can the that word make if it's on the board? And so it's this uh, ten-letter word, thatchiest, which is very unlikely it's ever going to be available. But you know, uh, alternatively, I can do a pattern and go thatch. There you go. Uh, if we wanted to do the thatched, yep, that's the only combination. Um, yeah, that that's useful. And now the other ones, 
The other ones, uh, I don't think I'm going to go through. Word in word list we've looked at belongs to group. No vowels includes letters. Yeah, I think that includes letters uh, was. Um, can I do why why? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. It's going to take too long. Uh, probability order. I'll, I'll go through these in future videos because these guys do get quite complex. Point value, not really useful. Takes prefix, takes suffix. That's pretty awesome. Uh, as I showed you with the bill, so takes uh, suffix. So bill, that should be able to give me, yeah. So, th so that gives all the words that actually take that bill suffix. And you'll notice there's actually fewer of them. And that's because the you know the duck bill or um, the twi bill for example twi twi itself isn't a word um, parts of speech I don't think I don't think that even works oh, I might oh yeah so uh, if I said uh, what which of these are uh, interjections three letter words are interjections there you go and you know different things work for different people. And if you want to, uh, and as you can see in the definitions, so this only works for definitions. So those words that don't have definitions, it's not going to come up with. Um, yeah, that that brings them up. Uh, definition. I don't. I don't even know. Bill. Does that work? Oh yeah. So things that have a bill in them. Hey, that's awesome. I never used this one before, but if you want to look up a bunch of related words. There you go. Uh, consists of ooh, that one's that one's. I'm not even going to pretend to know what that does. Uh, number of anagrams. Now this is an important one. Um, and I don't know why it's at the very bottom, but it is. So uh, let's just go seven, eight. Let's say I want to know the words that uh, the sevens and eights that have a lot of anagrams, and let's say ten. How many do you think there are? Uh, well, I think there's, I think there's one. It's either one or two. I know there's definitely a set, a set of seven. I know there's a re what's called the retains set. I know there's, uh, and I think there's one with a P in it, and I just don't know them all. Let's have a look. Oh, there's way more. All right. So there you go. Uh, this so, so this is really good. Um. Uh, this tells this tells me the so these kind of racks a e i r and just they've got lots of anagrams which means if you get them in a game it means you're gonna pr you're gonna have a really really good chance of getting them down so these are these are good to uh, to learn in that in that respect all right so there's my basic slash not so basic tutorial on um, the these uh, search functions of Zizva. Uh Watch out for my next videos where I will, I'm going to go through, uh, talk about car box. I will talk about, um, I'll talk about quizzing and um, how to set up car box. And if, if you've ever wanted to know how to set up a car box, that'll be a completely different video, uh, separate video because, um, yeah, there'll be a lot of stuff to talk about there. Yeah, thanks for listening.